Hey guys, Dave here. Welcome to Centurion's Review, the punk rock band of war game review institutions. I'm going to do a little playthrough here of Bloody Hun Likely. It's a Neil Zimmerer game. It was originally published in Against the Odds, I think an issue in 2011. I didn't get that issue, I just bought the pack that included Bloody Hunt Likely and When the West Came East, two solitaire games. They're both one-page games. One side is the map and the other side is the rules, so obviously you just photocopy the other side so you can see the rules while you're playing and include some counters. So let's go over the sequence of play. Sequence of play, if Adius's army is on the board, roll a dice for him and one for uh, Attila to see who goes first. And the second, and then you move. Second phase is check for Adius' arrival if he's not on the board. And then you check the area to see if they offer tributes or oppose Attila. If they oppose him, then you do combat. And after combat, if you win, you determine how much pillage you get. And then you advance the turn marker. So it's a real simple game. So let's get started. Attila's two armies start here. This is army number one. Army number one will go here. Army number two will go there. We're not rolling for Adius's arrival because the way it works, uh, you roll a die and add the half the number of territories you've uh, you've conquered, and if that is total is seven or more than Adius comes on the battlefield. Since I've conquered zero, the most you can get is six, so there's no point in rolling yet. So here we will roll on the tribute, or excuse me, yeah, on the tribute table to see if they pay tribute or if they want to fight. Get a one, they want to fight, we'll roll down here. They get a, f a five, so actually the one was a zero and the five is a four because since we're in the uh, Frankish territory, uh, we get a nugget of one on it. So they get 50 talents. Let me mark that down here. You're trying to get an, uh, 1,450 talents or more by the end of the game. So there we are at 50. All right, so let's do some fighting here. He's a 10. So you roll one dice, one dice only, and that's for both you and the enemy. So we both got a five. So on the table here, friendly gets a five, and he has 30 forces, so he does 18. So he wipes this out here, but this gets to fight back using that same five that was rolled. So on enemy, a five. When you have 10, he does four damage to Attila's army number two. So that's at 26. So now we roll to see uh, what the pillage is like. There's a zero there, so there's no modifier on the pillage table. And gets a six, so this is on other. So he gets 200 talents. So he's up to 250 now. All right, let's go down here. So there's going to be a little fight again. It's a very dicey game. It's a one-page game, so it's basically a big postcard game. Alright, so that's 10, so let's roll a dice and see what happens. We get a 4, so Friendly gets a 4 when he's got 30, so he does 20 damage, so that's wiped out. Um, this roll uh, goes back, enemy at 4 when you have 10, he does 5. So this army's down to 25. I actually made a mistake here at the beginning. These will or no, I didn't. Never mind. Yeah, I did. These are all supposed to start on the blue side. Let me fix that. Let me go off. Okay. All right, they're all switched to their proper side now. So they go red once they've been conquered. All right, and so let's uh, roll to see how much pillage there was. This is a modifier of zero. Four. So it gets 100 talents, or up to 350. All right, turn to, let's roll a dice to see if ADS comes on the board. No, not yet, that's four plus one is five. So this will move one to here. Actually, I was supposed to move first and then do that, but that's okay. Go there. 
All right, we will roll here to see if they give tribute, and they do not. That's a zero, so it'll be a fight. He's at eight, so let's roll. Get a one that's not good for the friendlies, which is Attila. So a one, and he's at 26. So he does a total of seven damage, so this is actually still alive after that, and that was at eight and did one. He did six. So he's down to 20. And there's a second round of combat since he wasn't defeated. So we get a five. So that just wipes him out. Let's see if one uh, enemy one at five does anything. Yeah, he does four to him. So that's at 16. All right. Now we'll roll to see how much pillage there is. Six, but minus one on the table. So instead of 200 talents, he gets 150. So he's at up to 500 now. All right, advance to turn three. Do our movement. This guy moves here. This guy moves here. And then we roll to see if Adius comes on the board, and he does. So he comes in Orleans. But movement's already been done for this turn, so he can't do any movement. So let's see if these guys pay tribute. They do not. What about these guys? They do not either, so two battles. So is army number two. Which is at 16, rolls the dice and gets a 4, 5, so he does 8, he defeats him, but he will fight, fight back, let's see what he got, did 4 damage to him, so that's down to 12, now let's roll to see, what pillage we got? Four becomes three, so he gets a hundred. Gets a hundred talents. So that's six hundred. All right. Down here, army number one is fighting number eight. Let's roll a die. Gets a two. Army number one is worth twenty-five. So he wipes him out. But he gets to, let's see what 8 did for 2. Did a lot of damage. He did 5 damage to him, so that's down to 20. Alright, and roll for pillage. And this space that was minus one so he gets 150 talents so he's up to 750 all right advance the turn marker and the green will be for Adius Adius moves first so obviously he's gonna move here and his total strength is equal to both our Attila's army, so that's 12, 20, so he's at 32, so we'll just put him on a 30 space. He's not going to die this game anyways. Alright, so the way the AI works for Adius, he moves towards army 1 always, unless army 2 is adjacent to him, in which case he moves to army 2, which is a flawed AI, and let me explain. So right now, let's say he kills army 1 here, as long as a Tilla's army number two doesn't get into an adjacent space, Adius will not move at all according to that AI, so that's a flawed AI, but it's, you know, it's a one-page game, so things like that happen, but anyhow, it's this guy's turn to move, 
So he's going to avoid getting adjacent to him, and he's just going to move that space. So now we have a battle here. It'll be Adius versus Attila. Roll one dice. You know, six. There was Attila number one. Twenty at six. He does 14 damage to Attila, so that brings it to, or to Adius, that brings him down to 16. And let's see, enemy rolls a 6, and he's at 3, it's a 9. Uh, he does 9 damage to Attila's army, number 1, bringing him to 11. Alright, so since Attila took more damage, we roll a dice, and it's a th three and you subtract one since Attila took more damage so it's two but two is greater than one if you got a one or less that means that Attila would uh, retreat so Adius retreats so that goes right there and we move to turn number five all right this dude or we got to roll to see who goes first rather Adius goes first so he attacks army number one again this one moves here, so let's do the little battle again. Got a one for Attila number one. Uh, he does three damage to Adius, bring him to thirteen. So he does four damage to Attila's army, bringing it to seven. And we roll a dice to see who retreats. The Adius and Attila battles are not to the death. So it's minus one. So this time Attila will retreat. And then we get over here. So we're going to roll to see if there's any tributes. There's no tributes. So it'll be a battle. He has ten. Tilla has 12 there. So we'll roll one dice, get a five. He does eight damage to him. That's down to two. And he does four damage to Attila. So Attila's at eight. One more round. All right, he wipes this guy out. And the other guy did no damage. So now we'll roll for pillage. There's no modifier. Uh, one, so he only gets 50 talents. So they're at 800. All right. So we advance the turn marker and roll to see who goes first. Adius goes first and attacks Attila. And then this dude will go down here. So let's do this battle. Roll a dice. Get a three. Adius is at 13. At three. So that's five. He does six damage to Attila. Until it's down to one point. And until it did three damage to him. So I'll roll to see. ADS will be pushed out. Alright, and over here, we'll roll for tributes. Gets a five. So he gets one less on that table. So he gets, that becomes a four. So it's 50 talents since this is Frankish territory. Eight fifty. One thing about the rule book, it doesn't say what to do with the token here after you get tribute. I assume that flips and that means you've conquered it. It doesn't say one way or the other, but that seems to make the most sense. All right, so advance the turn counter. That's even. Till it 
to look at school first. Actually, he should have been in that space, so he goes to here. And this one will move to here. And then Adius goes, he has to move there. So over here we'll roll for tribute. Get a six, which becomes a five, so he gets a hundred talents. So they're at 950. Flip that to red. All right. And then over here, nothing happens because that's already conquered territory. So we go up to turn number nine and roll to see who goes first. Adius goes first and catches up with Attila. And then this guy will go here. So we'll do the Adius and Attila battle. Attila's only got one. He's going to die. So it's a six. He does one damage to an Adius. And I'm not even going to check for Adius. That wipes out Attila. We know that. So when the second half of the game comes and we're fighting in Italy, Attila's army number one will not be there. All right. So over here... Roll to see if there's any tributes. No, there is not. So there's going to be a battle. Number eight. That's going to be a rough battle. Rolls of two. Does three damage to it. Does five damage to Attila. And go again. Five. Knocks him down to one. And enemy at five. Knocks him down one. And we'll go it again. F friendly three at six. Wipes him out. Does he do any damage? Does no damage. So this goes here and it's a negative one on the pillage table. So that's a two on the pillage table, so it's only worth 50 talents. However, they made it to a thousand. All right, like I said, the AI is flawed, so Adius can't move now. So just move Attila. Well, we've got to advance the turn marker. Nine. And next turn, advance the turn marker. Ten. Go there. Actually, I don't want to because if I get in a fight there, I'm going to lose. So I'm just going to wait the game out. I'll turn 11, turn 12. All right, so now it's time for the second part of the game. According to the rules, you're supposed to multiply, or excuse me, divide the amount of points you have by 10, which would give me 100, which is wrong. I checked the errata. It's divided by 100, so that's 10. So it'll be 10 times a dice will tell me how many starting strength that has. 10 times 3, so he'll have 33. 30, and I'll just use this other counter there to start. Alright, so he starts here, and the turn counter falls back to 1. So turn 1, he moves here. There's no enemy army uh, in Italy. Okay, so we'll roll there to see if there's tribute. Three, no tribute, so there's a battle. Get a six, so I don't even have to check. That will wipe out the enemy. But how much does uh, ten for the enemy do? He does three damage to Attila, so Attila's down to 29.
And then we'll roll to see how much pillage we have. Get a four, so he gets 100 talents, so we're at 1100. Like I said, very dicey game, not much strategy, actually almost no strategy. Other than choosing what path you move in. Or whether you're going, I, th that's basically it. Or if you're going to use your two armies t together in the first half of the game, but that's about it. Like moving together, I mean, where they both uh, hit the same space at the same time. So he moves here. And let's see if he gets any tributes. Nope, no tribute, so there's a battle. Roll a dice. Rolls a six. That will wipe out the enemy. Enemy will do three damage to Attila, though. Alright. And let's roll. Oops. Roll for our tribute or pillage rather. Pillage is two, just 50 talents. So he's at 1150. Alright. Goes down here. Fight. Rules of five. They'll wipe him out and the enemy at five. Does four damage to him. So he's at 22. And then we'll roll on the pillage table with a minus one. So that Becomes a three, so he gets a hundred talents. So he's at twelve fifty. So fourteen fifty is the minimum for. Or excuse me, it has to be more than fourteen fifty. So fifteen hundred is the minimum for a minor victory, and two thousand plus is a major victory. All right, so let's go here, I guess. Oh, I got to roll to see if it fights. Four, he actually pays 50 talents. That's cool. So we go to the next turn. And he'll go here. Let's see it. Yeah, there's going to be a fight. It's enough to kill the enemy, but the enemy does five damage to Attila. That brings him to 17. And we roll on a pillage table with a minus one. But he does get 150 talents, so we're at 1450. All he needs is get to 1500, and that's a minor victory. So let's go to the next turn. Moves up here. Let's see if. Gets a 5, so he pays 100 talents in tribute, so 1550. Alright. Turn 7. Moves here, turn eight, moves there. I assume you can't move through the Adriatic Sea. There's no rule on that, but I just kind of assumed. Turn nine goes to there, and that brings it to turn 10. Goes to, excuse me, goes to here. And let's go to the tribute table. No, there'll be a fight. Uh, one. That's not good. I 
They'll do seven to him, so he's at one. The six to Attila, so he's at eleven. One more battle, six will wipe out the enemy. And one at six does no damage to him. All right, so roll for pillage. Pillage is a six, so he gets 200, so that's 1750. Brings us to turn 11. All right, for turn 11, he goes to Flamia, and let's see if there's any tributes. He rolled a six for tribute, and if you roll for a six in tribute in Italy, that means you get to roll again. So if he's going to roll again, and if he gets a six, that means the Pope pays tribute and has uh, basically has a till of leave. All right, do so we get a six again? No, we get a one. So we just get 200 talents. So we're at 1950. All right. Turn 12, end of turn. Go there. And roll for tribute. And we do get tribute, so that's 100 talents. So he's at 2,050. So that's the end of the game. 2050, that's a major Attila victory. So, like I said, it's like a postcard game, except it's an 8.5 by 11 format. It's just something for, you know, uh, having a little bit of fun with, not something to take too seriously. It's good for killing 20 minutes, but it's obviously not a wholesome game or anything. It's just something to kill a few minutes. Just wanted to show you guys this. Thanks for watching. Uh, have a good evening, and if you liked the video, please click like on it. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to this channel, and as always, have a good evening.